Hello friends, we were discussing about change in profit sharing ratio. We started with a new chapter that is change in profit sharing ratio. We discussed about the reconstitution of firm that is if there is any change in the existing agreement of the partnership. What is agreement? Partnership deed. Right. If there is any change in the existing agreement of partnership, it is reconstitution of firm. What can be the reasons for reconstitution? Change in profit sharing ratio among the existing partners, admission of a new partner, retirement of an existing partner, death of a partner and amalgamation of the two partnership firms. In all these cases, there is a change in the terms and conditions of agreement which lead to the reconstitution of firm. Right. Then we discussed about the first reason that is change in profit sharing ratio right i gave you an example that there are two partners x and y sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 now decided to share profits equally so we'll calculate the x old share and x new share and the difference we will calculate as sacrifice or gain in this case some partners will sacrifice their share of profit and the other partners will gain right the amount of sacrifice by one partner will always be equal to the amount of gain by other partner. One partner acquires share of profit from another partner and aggregate amount of gain by one partner is equal to aggregate amount of sacrifice by another partner. Clear? This we have discussed. This example we have discussed in detail. If the old share is more than new share, then it is a sacrifice if old share is less than new share then it is a gain we also discuss that gaining partner will compensate the sacrificing partner by giving the goodwill by paying goodwill the gaining partner must give something to the sacrificing partner to compensate for the loss of share and profit and that compensation is known as goodwill right now let's see further what we have We were discussing about goodwill in change in profit sharing ratio. Change in profit sharing ratio, right? Now we discussed that the gaining partner gaining partner should pay some compensation to the sacrificing partner what is this compensation known as this compensation is known as goodwill that means gaining partner will pay some amount of goodwill to the sacrificing partner for the loss in the share of profits right now what will be the amount of goodwill payable amount of goodwill payable by gaining partner to sacrificing partner this will be the amount of goodwill whatever is the valuation of goodwill that we do that we have discussed in the last chapter that is valuation of goodwill multiplied by the share gained in the profits multiplied by gained share clear this will be the amount of goodwill payable how much the gained share clear like in this example let's see one question on this that what will be the amount of goodwill payable a and b shared profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 with effect from 1st of april 2016 they agreed to share profits equally the goodwill of the firm was valued at 30,000 past the necessary journal entry for accounting of goodwill we'll discuss about the journal entry first of all we'll see what is the amount of compensation payable by the gaining partner to the sacrificing 
partner clear we are given the valuation of goodwill as 30000 this is the same example that i have discussed with you there are two partners a and b sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 now decided to share profits equally so first of all sacrifice or gain calculation of sacrifice or I can say gain first of all let for let's see for a this is old share minus new share clear what is old share 3 by 5 new share 1 by 2 right this will become 6 by 10 minus 5 by 10 1 by 10 sacrifice and for B old share is 2 by 5 and the new share is 1 by 2 so this becomes 1 by 10 this means gain this is a sacrifice and this is gain now value of goodwill we are given value of goodwill we are given as rupees 30,000 so let's see what is the amount of compensation amount of goodwill payable by B because B is the gaining partner this is value of goodwill that is 30,000 into gained share how much is the gain 1 by 10 right so the gain share will only be 3,000 this is the amount of compensation payable by B to A because A is the sacrificing partner and B is the gaining partner gaining partner will pay some amount of compensation to the sacrificing partner for the loss of share and profit clear now what will be the journal entry for this B is paying to A so B's capital account will be debited or credited B's capital account will be debited account debit and he is paying to A so A's capital account will be credited with rupees 3000 clear so this is the journal entry accounting treatment of goodwill clear there is one more point this is very important write this down that if there is any goodwill appearing in the balance sheet then we have to write off this goodwill write off this goodwill write off means distribute this goodwill among old partners among old partners in old ratio now in this example suppose there was goodwill of 50,000 already appearing in the books right what we will do is the first of all we will write off this goodwill by distributing this amount among old partners in old ratio the question is why because this goodwill 
this amount of goodwill was earned by old partners in old ratio clear so now there is a change in the terms we will write off this goodwill this reputation this goodwill was earned by old partners in old ratio now there is a ch change in the terms and conditions we will write this goodwill off the journal entry will be goodwill account debit we will debit the goodwill sorry we will credit the goodwill because we are writing off goodwill we are writing off an asset and we will so we will be crediting that asset not debiting we will debit the partners capital account as capital account earlier the goodwill have would have been distributed among the partners now we will write off this goodwill as capital account debit b's capital account debit to goodwill account Thirty thousand, twenty thousand, and fifty thousand. This has to be in old ratio. Right. So what we will do is we will write off the goodwill among old partners in old ratio. Right. We will debit the partners' capital accounts because we are writing off their reputation. so we will debit the partners capital accounts and we will credit the goodwill we are writing off an asset costing 50000 right so this is a very important point that if there is any goodwill appearing in the balance sheet then we have to write off this goodwill among old partners in old ratio right so this is the accounting treatment of goodwill right we will calculate the sacrifice we'll calculate the value of goodwill like we have done the valuation in the last chapter and we will calculate the amount of goodwill payable by the gaining partner right that the formula is amount of goodwill into the gained share here the gained share is 1 by 10 value of goodwill is 30000 so amount of 3000 is payable by the gaining partner b to the sacrificing partner a so what will be the journal entry gaining partner to sacrificing partner this is gaining ratio right and this is sacrificing ratio in this case it is 1 by 10 1 by 10 you will get to understand this when there are more than two partners we'll do an example on that right so and we discussed one more point that if there is any previous goodwill appearing in the balance sheet on the date of change in terms and conditions if there is a goodwill appearing in the balance sheet on the date the terms and conditions are changed on the date where there is a reconstitution of firm then we have to write off this goodwill okay we have to write off this goodwill among old partners in their old ratio right so what will be the journal entry the partners capital accounts will be debited and the goodwill that is our asset we are writing off will be credited right please remember we have to distribute this goodwill among the partners okay in old ratio clear right write off this goodwill among old partners in old ratio this is very very important not to distribute in the new ratio clear so this is accounting treatment of goodwill in the next lecture we will do one or two practical problems on this and then we will move on to the next topic right